Blackburn CTN Technology News here, and today I'm doing a video review of Mac OS X Mavericks 10.9, which is basically Apple's newest operating system for their Mac line of computers. Now, what makes this upgrade kind of interesting is that it's actually the first Mac upgrade that's actually been free. So that's right, you, if you have a Mac already, you can just go to the Mac App Store and download OS X 10.9 for free. Now, let's go ahead and start talking about some of the features. Now the first new thing is that Apple has actually added Apple Maps to the Mac. So that's right, now you have the option of, you know, viewing stuff in Apple Maps just like you can on an iOS device. And Apple Maps has all the features you'd expect, including 3D view of buildings and, you know, other cool stuff that you'll find on iOS already. With Mavericks, Apple has also brought iBooks to the Mac, so that's right, now you can read books on your Mac computer. Not too big a change, but it's kind of a cool one nonetheless. A slightly cooler change is the new tabs view for viewing files and documents in OS X Mavericks. So now you have various different tabs at the top, much like you'd find in a web browser. You can easily add more tags by just um, going to File, New. And then there's also a new tagging system where as basically you can give uh, documents and files a color tag or just a generic tag like uh, work or recreation and then when you search for your documents or files um, you can search just for a specific tag or of you know document. Now Safari has also gotten an update with OS X 10.9. Um, it's got a, a brand new design basically, more streamlined, more intuitive I would say. I really like it. You can also easily bookmark pages or add pages to your reading list in Safari and you know that's kind of a cool feature. So that's all the features I'm going to show for OS X Mavericks. There's actually a lot more that I did not have time to cover here but you know if you get the new operating system please be sure to tell me what you think of it. Also if you've tried Windows 8.1 as well let me know how, how you think it stacks up to Windows 8.1 because what's interesting is that both Microsoft and Apple's latest upgrade are both free so it's interesting to see how they stack up against each other. But anyway thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time. So bye!